In this video, we're gonna do a campaign gameplay overview breakdown of the trailer. It has a ton of interesting facts of how to open up different sections of the map, various graphics comparisons, the reveal of the Harbinger, and an appearance of Aatrox in this trailer. Wanna know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. The channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. And uh, yeah, we had a bit of a news drop as some actual campaign gameplay came out. And wow, that trailer is absolutely amazing. I posted up my reaction on this channel earlier, guys. If you want to check that video out, feel free to do so. But in this video, we're going to do a breakdown of all the interesting things you might have missed within the trailer. And there was a lot of really interesting stuff. And yeah, I said it right. Atriox does make an appearance within this trailer. So if you guys like these analytical kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. And it greatly helped out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on, on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So in this very first scene, I thought it was actually just like Chief and Cortana talking with each other, but then you realize Chief doesn't have a little thing in his hand being like a device to display Cortana. And as it fades to black, you can see these stars starting to come in as well. So I believe this is more of a dream sequence, maybe leading you into the beginning of like the Discover Hope trailer where Chief is floating out in space. Next, we have some sequences that kind of replay through the Discover Hope trailer. So I want to do some graphical comparisons because there are major differences now that have been made to this sequence in Halo Infinite. First, I want to showcase the pilot. You can really see the difference when it comes to the lighting of the situation where in the original one it looks a little bit more even tone, where the newest one has a bit more of a harsher, brighter tone to it. So it kind of creates more dynamics when it comes to the lighting and shadowing. Here's a comparison of Chief's armor. You can see in the newest one, yeah, a lot more beat up and damaged because, well, he just came out of a battle so like he would definitely be showcasing some different battle scars in that one here's another shot comparison between discover hope and the 2021 reveal guys you can see how the color tone is much more blue a little bit more cooler color tone compared to previously it was a bit warm and you can see a lot more detail within the ring as well just like the graphical improvements for halo infinite have been absolutely amazing this next section actually showcases a downed guardian which totally caught me off guard i thought it was like something else but this was confirmed by community manager unishank that this is a a downed guardian. This next section actually showcases that the grapple shot actually has an ability to have an electroshock kind of stunning ability as well with it, which is a new kind of upgrade system that we have with equipment, which we'll get into a little bit later in this video. The very beginning of this Banshee section actually showcases a really interesting like refill station kind of thing. Where you look in the lower right, you have two icons. One's yellow, one is a blue kind of color. I've seen that orangey yellow color being like an ammo refill station that you'll find out within the world. That blue one, I'm not totally sure sure I can't really make out the shape on it but definitely something to keep in mind because that's definitely gonna be something you're gonna be wanting to utilize while in the world of Zeta Halo and throughout this trailer you do see a lot of minor comparisons between 2020 and 2021 this one being a warthog where you can kind of see the situation where Chief's in very similar can you do a nice little graphical comparison about how far 343 has come with their updates to the graphics over just one year now can we just appreciate how far the lighting has come in Halo Infinite? This shot is absolutely beautiful. Here's our first look at Cortana in game. So this is not just like the imagination of Cortana that Chief has. This is actually Cortana, at least what it looks like, overviewing a ship. What is that ship? I have no idea, but it's great to see Cortana coming back. Coming back with that traditional purple look that Cortana had back in Combat Evolve, which is interesting to see like why that change, what caused that, or is that kind of like just an artistic interpretation? or is that something lore wise we have such a huge difference between the halo infinite cortana and the halo 5 cortana we'll just have to wait and see i love this bit of dialogue from the weapon it really gives you a bit of insight about how this character thinks i was created to lock down cortana but i don't know why what did she do that was so wrong why this little bit of dialogue is so important because it showcases that the AI of the weapon isn't just like some dumb shackled thing that's really made for one single purpose. It's actually going to have a bit of a character arc to it or something like that to where I make a thing for themselves and be really interesting to see how this plays out. Here's a first look at a forward operating base that we're going to be taking care of within Halo Infinite. These are going to be crucial locations that can help reveal new sections of the map within Halo Infinite. We're going to go into this a little bit later when we get a chance to see the attack map in close view. Here's another Another visual callback from the 2020 reveal to the 2021 reveal you can see how the lighting is just so much better the coloring and the tone is so much better as well the shadowing has been greatly improved 
guys, Halo Infinite is looking absolutely amazing. Here's our first look of the Stalker rifle in action, and it looks awesome, but also that means Jackal Snipers are back, so beware. Here's another 2020 to 2021 graphical comparison of in-game hologram version of Eshram, and you can see the vast improvements when it comes to the graphics on Eshram look incredible. I have been seeing this comparison of him in 2020 and this, the very ending of this trailer. The end of this trailer is actually a CGI cutscene, so it's pre-rendered, not in-game. This is actually in-game what we're seeing for the hologram version of Eshram. Okay, everybody, you're going to want to pay attention to this scene in particular because this is an absolutely massive scene. This isn't just like a scene of just Chief and like a brute punching each other, or whatever. There's a huge thing going on behind this brute, guys, that I did not notice after my first view over. It's Aatrox in the back of this scene, and that's absolutely insane to think about. Now, this means that, yes, Aatrox is in Halo Infinite in some capacity. Now, it does look like he's not moving when it comes to this image, so maybe it's like some kind of statue of some sort, but at least he's in the game in some capacity because he is the leader of the Banish. He's just kind of out on the way off of Zeta Halo in some capacity. Could we see him later in the game? I personally think so, but that's just my tinfoil hat theory coming in through that. But this is absolutely cool to see that Aatrox will be in Halo Infinite. Here's another callback section to the 2020 20 review. If you guys all remember our big meme boy Craig who charged at Master Chief in 2020, well, we get pretty much the same kind of scene here in 2021. Here you can see a nice, really detailed close up look. And then once Master Chief gives him a nice little smack across the face, you get to see the side profile of our boy Craig. Craig showcasing some facial hair, a bit of a mohawk, giving a little bit more characteristics to this brute rather than just being all smooth face like he was previously. So again, another callback to 2020 and really well done by 343. Next is an image of Master Chief taking on a hunter. If you look in the lower right, you can hold up to four items of equipment in the campaign. As we know, multiplayer, only one, but in campaign, I thought previously it was three, but now you can hold up to four, which is awesome. Here's an example of one of those side missions that Joseph Staten mentioned previously in updates, talking about how Marines trapped up on the side of a mountain, you can go save them. Now, we don't really see, besides just like having an awesome gameplay sequence, how this actually benefits the player in any capacity, but maybe it helps add towards those forward operating bases. And But then look at this, he just drives it off the cliff with these guys no armor, just like, yeah, madman, you just saved them and now, okay, well, whatever. Here's our first glimpse at a boss battle within Halo Infinite. We haven't had boss battles since Halo 2. They're back in Halo Infinite. You can see there's a shield bar and a health bar, and it looks like you have to take down the shield bar before you can actually take down the health bar within this battle. Now, is that gonna be every battle fights up? I doubt it, but maybe there might be some sequences you might kind of need to do to trigger like a damage phase and a shield damaging kind of phase. Here's the first look at the updated attack map. Yeah, it looks way better than previously. It looks like they might be doing a bit of a Ubisoft type of open world mechanic where you have to open up these bases to get to new sections of the map. Here on this forward operating base Gulf, it says right here in the description, when controlled forward operating bases reveal banished and UNSC activity in the surrounding region, serve as fast travel hubs and rally points for the UNSC Marines fire support and provide access to vehicle depots which we saw previously weapons and also weapon variants Gaining Valor unlocks available resources at all captured forward operating bases. Defeat the Banish and access the control terminal to claim this forward operating base. And below that, you can see the various collectibles within the area as well. These look like things like resources you might need to gather within the world and also maybe some ways to upgrade your character on top of that. Next, we have the reveal of the upgrades that you'll be able to have within Halo Infinite. On the screen here, it showcases all the different types of equipment that Chief currently has on him at the moment. It looks like you can add this in on the fly as it looks like he goes into the menu, then attaches the new equipment, goes out of the menu, back into the battle we were just in, and completes off that brute. Then the equipment looks like it has certain kinds of upgrades that can do more than just like be better kind of thing, which they mentioned in the previous blog update. What the player does here is they equip the upgraded version of the thruster, where after you thrust, you have four seconds of camo that gets activated. Other equipment also have things like being able to respawn faster, also have double usage and things like that. So there's gonna be a lot more than just be better equipment that's gonna be great. You have the different kind of choices you have to make within the gameplay to choose what type of gameplay style that you wanna do. Also, eat your heart out, Battlefield. Here's a rendezvous Halo style. Best. Defying the odds to take down the banished. Piece by piece. 
this won't be an easy fight. Here's another graphics comparison from what we had in 2020 to 2021. And yeah, guys, the difference is quite humongous to say the least, dude. The difference a year makes when it comes to these graphical improvements from 2020 to 2021, guys, well worth the wait. Next, we have the reveal of the skimmers, which seem to be either like a new race faction or something, because these definitely these little guys fighting over what looks to be the monitor for installation 07. Seems to be the same kind of species that the Harbinger is as well. And the Harbinger looks insanely awesome. Now, when doing research about the Harbinger and the species, I was trying to figure out what they are, and I thought maybe they are the Prelate, which is a Sen Shayun Super Soldier, which is again like the same species as the Prophets from the original Halo series. This is not correct because one of the members over at Halopedia corrected me saying that you can tell by the number of fingers that this is not a Sen Shayun kind of character, so it's not a Prelate, so it might be some brand new species we've never seen before in Halo. Could also possibly be a precursor as well. We just have to kind of wait and see. Oh, and how badass was that reveal of Jigger Redemni? I mean, oh my god, this guy looks so freaking badass. Just a silent shadow, double sword swinging badass with a robot arm. And if this is your first time seeing the character, here's some concept art to kind of give you a better idea of what the character looks like. Dude, Oh my god, this is amazing. So if you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a list of all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thanks so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.